Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Michael King, and I'm joined here by Dr. Mark Schneider here at Schneider LASIK and Tri County Eye Institute. And we're here to provide you with our weekly update. Uh, while all of you right now are uh, we're all at home, uh, we thought it would be helpful just to provide you with some, um, some tips and just some, some commentary uh, on different items here related to COVID and, and also to your vision. So, uh, Dr. Schneider, first thing that we want to start out with uh, is to kind of talk about where COVID is in California. And we've, uh, I know we both have been kind of looking at this uh, you know, COVID production from the IHME um, up in Washington, uh, University of Washington, but anything you'd like to comment on uh, what's going on and where COVID is in California? So first of all, I can say good morning to everybody. And um, yeah. my hearts go out to all of those who are personally affected by the virus. And I guess all of us in one way or another are affected either by staying home or our jobs have been affected. So again, um, our thoughts go out to everyone. Um, but things are looking up actually in California. Um, our social distancing efforts have really uh, done a great job of really flattening the curve. And you know, based on our population of more than 40 million people, um, even though one death is too much, but um, our numbers are really, really good compared to say New York. So yeah. you know, kudos to everybody who are practicing you know, hand hygiene and wearing the masks and you know, this will get us back to our some semblance of normalcy, um, hopefully earlier than expected. Although we don't really have any time frame on that yet, but hopefully in the next few days we'll know more. Got it. Um, I, I wanted to uh, uh, have you to talk about what for those patients, and this is more on the Tri County Eye Institute side, that maybe are you know pre cataract or maybe they do have cataracts. What are some of the things that they might be experiencing now that we're spending a lot more time on our on our screens and, and just any, anything you'd like to comment on those people that are maybe noticing the effects of cataracts right now? So, you know, typically cataracts, the, the most common symptoms is that the vision is, is blurry and it feels basically like you want to clean your glasses all the time. And, you know, a cataract is a cloudiness of the lens in the eye. Um, so it diminishes the light that will pass to the back of the eye, which is called the retina. And so far, when less light gets to the retina, you're gonna have more blurred vision. So one of the things you can do is you can turn up the lights in the house. Um, you can use a really good uh, light when you're trying to read, you know, something that focuses directly on the material that you're, that you're trying to read, that can be helpful. Uh, but just turning up the lights at home can help a lot. Um, you know, that's really about it. I mean, you, we can't do a whole lot remotely now. We can help diagnose cataracts with a virtual consult. Yeah. Um, but we really, at this point, we can't do anything surgically to fix them. Yeah. Um, that's coming back soon. So, um, but mainly just turn up the light. Um, you can turn up the brightness on your computer screen that will help you see things better. Um, and depending on where your focus is, move something either closer or farther away. And uh, so, and our next point is uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum is, you know, for those uh, moms and dads that are at home and obviously the kids are at home as well. Uh, and what that means is there's probably a little bit more screen time uh, going on right now. And so uh, any tips or suggestions that you would have, uh, you know, given that, you know, some kids may be having a little bit more screen time and any breaks or any uh, suggestions or, or tips that you'd recommend that uh, parents abide by? Yeah, I think all of us are spending way more time on the screen than we're used to or, or should be doing. But, you know, a few things. We know for a fact that um, being on the computer or tablet for long periods of time um, causes our eyes to be dry. And the reason is because we don't blink as frequently as we should. We're just staring at the screen, uh, not blinking. So, you know, this might be a time to start using some lubricant drops um, if the eyes are getting blurry or the vision's getting blurry. Um, we also know that uh, the screens typically will let out um, some blue light. And we found that this blue light can actually be problematic in a number of ways. Number one, um, it can dis disrupt the sleeping cycle or the circadian rhythm. So, you know, nowadays we're recommending people to get off of their tablets or off of their computer at least an hour or so before bedtime. Or alternatively, you can get some blue blocking glasses to wear which will mm. cut out that light that is interfering with that cycle. Um, the other thing is um, try to keep the screen as far away as possible because we have seen an increased incidence in nearsightedness over the last um, 10 years or so. And we think it's due to our lifestyle. Basically, everything is up front nowadays and up close and we're staring at things. And that causes an increased uh, amount of nearsightedness 
So, you know, those are the main things that you can do to keep your eyes healthy and, um, you know, try to find some other things to do, play some games. Yeah. Uh, Next, next thing I'll, uh, to, to comment on is, is actually an invitation uh, to all of you that are watching the video. Uh, if uh, you're in an area that uh, our, our clinic is uh, nearby, we'd love to uh, be able to invite you in for a virtual consultation. And, and so, uh, Dr. Schneider, now that I know this is kind of a new thing for uh, a lot of us, but you have been doing telehealth uh, for, for quite some time at your clinic. What would you like to say to somebody or what is the app experience like now that you've been doing a lot more virtual consults with patients? I think it's really great. I mean, you know, we've been doing um, telehealth or telemedicine for about two years now. And um, it's really nice, especially now, because a lot of people are very fearful about uh, leaving their home. Mm -hmm. And we can actually diagnose and treat quite a few things um, just by looking over a camera and, and talking to you about your symptoms. So we really don't want someone to neglect their eye health um, during this time. It's, you know, it's super important. Um, if, especially if you're having symptoms of sudden visual changes, or if you have symptoms like an infection, redness, irritation, we can handle all of that um, with, a, with a telemedicine consult, you know, or check with your own doctor if you have one and see if they're doing it yet. But it's a great way to keep in contact. We can refill medications. There's a lot that we can do. Excellent. Uh, and so again, our invitation to you is that uh, you can just go to either schneiderlasik.com or Tri-County Institute's website, and you can be able to schedule that uh, virtual consult. And then finally, if you do have any questions that you would like to have us to answer on our weekly sort of update, please feel free to kind of post them uh, down below, uh, wherever you may be watching this video, uh, we'll be able to take excellent care of you. So uh, Dr. Schneider, I'll give you the last word. Any final things you'd like to say? Yeah, I just wanted to answer one of the questions that we got um, in the sure. past week about, um, yeah. are you currently doing um, vision correction surgery? And the answer really is no, not now. Um, Right now, the, the government has asked us to not do any elective surgery at this point. Yeah. Um, we're hoping uh, early May, mid-May to open back up and um, start doing procedures again, but we're just not sure. So we'll keep you updated on that as, as we hear more as well. Great. And so on that note, everybody have a, a happy Easter. Appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll uh, look forward to hopefully seeing you at a virtual consultation. Take care, Stay everybody. Well. Thank you. Bye-bye.